Any individual has the right to sue the government of Guam if they feel it's not spending funds properly. And that's what John Thomas Brown from Island Business Systems and Supplies, the authorized distributor of Canon copiers and imaging management, says he's doing. According to Brown, he is filing an action against the Department of Education, DOE Superintendent Dr. Nerissa Underwood, and the Chief Procurement Officer Claudia Akfaji. Brown says this action is brought under the Government Act, which is called the Enforcement of Proper Government Spending. Brown says it's important to know what this act allows. What it allows <clears throat> is for any taxpayer to bring suit against any executive branch employee, including specifically the governor and lieutenant governor, uh, who has expended money without appropriate, uh, without proper appropriation, without proper authority, illegally or contrary to law. He says they are bringing this action because he believes that the funds have been spent contrary to law, the procurement law in particular. He says the reason why DOE superintendent and CPO have been included in this action is because at the beginning of this year, GSA was handling the procurement for the DOE until March, and then it was turned over to DOE. Brown says this all stems from the way DOE handled the procurement process of copiers and copier services for the agency. According to Brown, in 2008, the public auditor Doris Flores Brooks ruled that the original contract between DOE and Xerox that was issued in 2000 for sole source was illegal, and the renewal of the contract non-competitively in 2004 for five more years was also illegal. Brooks terminated the contract. Brown says DOE continued this contract until 2009, and then in 2010, DOE came up with a series of bogus emergency declarations. And when you look at the definition in the procurement law for an emergency, which is the basis for an emergency declaration, it says it's an imminent threat to health, safety, welfare that could not have been foreseen by the exercise of prudent management. Well, it could have been foreseen. It was foreseen. It was foreseeable. It was imminently foreseeable by anybody who looked at it that this was going to come up. So this was not an emergency. Brown says when DOE procured goods and services under the emergency declaration, in which the factual basis is invalid, then the emergency is also invalid. He says you can't use an emergency declaration to purchase goods. This law allows those parties to be held accountable. They can't just walk away. Even though they may have ratified the contract, they can't just walk away from it. This, this allows a taxpayer to bring suit to make the people who did this illegal act personally liable. Brown says this action is taking its course to see where it goes. He says his attorney, James Maher, and DOE's legal counsel, along with the Office of the Attorney General, are in the process of discussions and conferences to set up a hearing date. He says so far there's no court date yet because it's still too early. But he believes that the first hearing will take place sometime in the early part of 2011. David Macaluso, PNC News.